Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is the one Antihero here, and today I'm going to be talking about basically the ARG circuit that was over the weekend. And in case of you guys were living under a rock, um, ARG started these uh, circuit tournaments. Um, they're kind of like their own regional, I guess, in a sense, but they're not partnered with Konami anymore, from what I hear. So, I mean, you can't get like a national invite or anything like that, but you do get like prize support and mm. really good prize support, actually. Um, I think the winner. Who was Patrick Hoban, by the way? Um, he got fifteen hundred dollars store credit, or something like that. It was really good. It was like five thousand dollars in prizes, or I, I don't really know the huge details, but I'm just kind of here to talk about it. Um, yeah, it was really good, actually, like really, really good. Like um, uh, I watched a couple of the duel videos that they uh, Kiko twenty five x. Post a link to his channel in the description. Sh uh, shout out to him for getting those dual videos and the commentary by some of these people were really good. Fraser Smith. Um, you got the C matches with him, Billy Brake, um, Patrick Hoban, uh, Paul Cooper, all these names that uh, most of you probably know who they are. They're well renounced pros. So, um, But it was like really cool. Um, there was one video in particular that I actually saw thanks to, um, well I saw it on Kiko's, but then I'm subscribed to also, um, his name's 212 Kai Gaming. I encourage you guys to check him out. He's, he's not that big of a YouTuber, obviously, right now. You know, he doesn't have that many subscribers or videos, but he's one of those, what I call, gem YouTubers. And I'm sounding like I have a man crush on this dude, but he's just, there's like 10 people I'm subscribed to that are like, well, actually, there's more than 10, but this is really good YouTubers that, you know, they're not well-known right now, but maybe they will be eventually. I encourage you guys to check them out, but I'll post a link to his, too. And he was talking about something that I want to talk about in this video, too. It's, like, the mental mind game that happens in Yu-Gi-Oh!, especially in tournaments and big events and stuff like that. When it comes to big play, knowing your opponent, thank you, um, is half the battle. And, like... That can really mess a person up. If you're trying to mess with their head and you get to them, they're going to second-guess their decisions that they normally wouldn't, and that could really mess them up. And that's part of the game, honestly. Um, but it's just like, it's one of those things where if you mess with your opponent, like, it's all fun and games, but, you know, you can throw them off, you know? Um, one thing I saw was, it was Billy Brake versus Frazier, uh, Smith, and... Billy uh, forgot to search for, I believe, a Tempest search when he uh, banished it. And uh, he used Terraforming, I think, and he got out of Dragon's Bean. Then he tried to go back in and get the search, and Frazier Smith wouldn't let him. And a uh, big point that 212 Kai brought up is, if that was you, would you have done that? Would you have told them, no, you couldn't do that? Um, my thing with that is, I, if we're in locals, or we're playing for fun, I'm going to let you do it. But if it's a big tournament like that, I don't mean to be a jerk, but, I mean, this is, there's a lot of riding, you know? Like, money's on the line and stuff like that, so I wouldn't let you do it. But even if you're, you know, I'm, I'm assuming they're friends, they're on the same team and stuff like that, but I just want to let you do it. The, um, yeah, but getting back to the circuit, um, there's actually one coming up near me November 17th, maybe? Yeah, it's on Worcester, Mass., and I'm definitely planning on going to that one, but, you know, I'm pretty excited about it. And I, I thought they did a really good job with the coverage. Yet again, I'm going to say it because it was just, you know, we're used to Konami and their terrible coverage. So, I mean, commentating is always good, and they're only going to get better from here on out, you know, because everybody's a critic. So they're going to do everything they can to make people happy. And, you know, so shout out to the whole ARG team and everybody who was involved with that. I really appreciate it. Um... I enjoyed it from a perspective, uh, spectator's standpoint, so, but, yeah, I encourage you guys to check all those videos out, actually, I was in a little bit of a funk where, you know, I, I felt like the game, not that it was boring, but, you know, I get in that slump, like, once in a while, and it'll last, like, a day, <laughs> but, you know, I was just kind of down about the game, but then I, um, I just, I watched those videos, and, you know, it made me excited to play the game, you know, and I can't wait to go to the regionals next month that I'm going to, which I keep mentioning to you guys, um, but I'm excited for it, you know, and 
I'm pretty excited for locals this week, so we'll see how I do. And you know, I'll let you guys know. Didn't get to do a turn tournament report this week i'm a little sad about that but you know things happen so i'll bring you guys that too but yeah i mean the only thing i can say too about these kind of circuits it seems like is from what i hear it's a lot of top players going so i'm not discouraging you know casual competitive well those competitive players that haven't I guess reached their full potential yet I would encourage you to go anyway even if you think you're not going to do well you should just assume you're going to do well anyway because that's the whole confidence thing that I talked about in a previous video but yeah just you know believe in yourself and you know um, believe you're going to win every game you know you're going to make every shot so um, I encourage everyone to go to those tournaments and try your best you know and worst case scenario, you get some coverage, you know, and you'll see all the great players and you can ask them. I'm sure, like, I'm sure they get asked all the time, but I'm sure, you know, maybe you can get a sit down with one of them or interview them or, like, whatever, you know, see how they're doing and, you know, their choices. And, you know, there's a lot there. So, and there's a lot of vendors, of course, I'm assuming, ARG. <laughs> um, there's a lot of things going on. So I encourage everybody to check those out. And, yeah, I think that's... All I can really say about that, um, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm at uh, 70 subscribers, so that's really cool. Um, thanks a lot. I appreciate everybody for watching my videos, and this is the one anti-hero signing out. See you guys next time.